Hello, I'm Penny Vincenzi and it's really nice to be able to talk to you like this. And what I really want to talk to you about is my new book. It's called The Decision and I'm really excited about it and I do hope you're going to like it. And I think the best way I can tell you about it and what it's about is to read from the prologue of the whole book. So, here we go. It was nearly over then, Eliza reflected. By this time tomorrow, it would be settled. By this time tomorrow, she would know whether she would still be a mother, a proper mother, the sort that did the ordinary things, got her child up every morning and tucked her up in bed every night, took her to school and picked her up again, got cross with her, argued with her, told her off for skimping her homework or her piano practice, insisted she made her bed, and tidied her room and wrote thank you letters and cleaned out the hamster's cage. Or the other sort, the once or even twice a week sort, the provider of a perfect room and whatever you fancy food, who waited impatiently outside school, aware of the mild curiosity of the other mothers, the purveyor of treats and outings and extra generosity to friends, always with time to give, overindulgent, never cross, never critical, desperate to know about a school concert, a ballet exam, plans for a holiday, watchful for new loyalties, jealous of new traditions. Which would she be? The mother with custody of her child or the mother without? So there you have it. The decision is the story of a custody battle and a divorce at the end of a stormy and passionate marriage ending with the battle in the high courts for a little girl. It's set in the 60s um, in, in the fashion industry against a background of glossy magazines. Um, Eliza, the heroine, is the fashion editor and all the glamour and drama of that world, the photographic sessions, the best dress lists, parties, fun, glamour, Paris collections, everything. And the very different one of the property industry where Matt, the hero, becomes a self-made millionaire. So, lots of drama, lots of intrigue, lots of passion, lots of glamour. And I do hope you like it.